Looking at the numbers in Iowa now, health officials are keeping a close watch on disturbing trends. Iowa has reported 24 COVID-19 related deaths since this time yesterday, raising the state total to 1,874. There are also more than 4,000 new cases, pushing the number of Iowans infected to more than 161,000. Also, the state's 14 day test positivity rate is up again, now at 20.8%. Governor Reynolds points to rising COVID-19 hospitalizations and says the time is now to issue more restrictions. At a news conference today, she detailed what the public health emergency that goes into effect at midnight will include for the next 30 days and why Iowans need to step up for each other. 3 News Now morning anchor Jennifer Griswold breaks down the changes. The overall increased patient volume um, is stressing our health care system and it is putting capacity at risk. With more than 1,100 people currently hospitalized with COVID-19 and a statewide positivity rate of 19%, Governor Kim Reynolds says the surge is stressing the state's health care system. The situation has the potential to impact any Iowan who may need care for any reason, whether for COVID-19 or for some other serious medical condition. And we don't want anyone to be turned away from our hospitals. For the next 30 days, when Iowans gather in groups of 25 or more inside for social or recreational reasons, they'll have to wear a mask. That requirement comes into play with 100 people or more outside. This goes for youth sports too, and only two spectators are allowed for each athlete. Masks will be required for personal service businesses like salons. Bars and restaurants must space tables and limit groups to eight, but no big changes for them. Iowa is open for business and we intend to keep it that, that way. That's why it's time for these additional mitigation measures, but it's will take all of us doing everything we can to stop the spread of the virus and keep it at a manageable level that we can live with. Iowa requires schools to request a waiver through the state to go fully remote. The Department of Education director says today they've had 24 requests with three more in the process of review.